flipping houses to generate income with real estate. That's what we're going to be talking about in this video and how that applies to your real estate income stacking. If you're ready, let's rock. Hey, Mark Walters here. We're talking about how to generate income flipping houses. That is just one of the 21 different and unique ways to generate income that I share inside of my real estate income stacking handbook. Now, once you get that, you also get this free downloadable blueprint that shows you all 21 ways grouped together in ways that you can be generating income with real estate congruently. You're naturally doing one of these things. You might as well do a number of these things. And house flipping is going to be going inside of model stack number one. So if you want to be able to get this blueprint, I'll share more with you at the end of this video, but you can look down in the description for more information on that. So house flipping, it's been around for a long time. It's been under a lot of scrutiny as I'm making this video. So we're going to touch on some of the things to be careful of as well. And then how you're going to be going about finding these houses in the first place. So flipping real estate in the old days, people would just get some kind of an assignment. They tie up the property. So they tie up the property owner. So they couldn't really do anything with the property while the investors shopped around a contract for a property that they did not own. And then they were hoping to be able to sell that contract and then be done with the deal. The home sellers dealing with whoever then has the option on that property. So that is a big time no, no nowadays. It isn't to say you can't do that kind of thing as I'm making this video, but it's the way you go about it that is under so much scrutiny because obviously that is not fair to the home seller in many respects because they are entering into a contract with an investor thinking this investor is going to buy the property. When the investor just put an assignment clause into the contract, they're then turning around, they're shopping that contract. If they can't sell the contract, they're walking away from the deal. That is not good for the home seller. So now there's a lot of regulations that are protecting the home sellers and it's about time. So as investors, we just need to know what are the proper ways to do things. And really it's the golden rule. The golden rule is always applicable and we should be running any kind of business with the golden rule. So that is really easy to understand. So we want to go into contracts knowing that we have the ability and the intent to actually buy the property. We've got the ability, we can find the financing, we can close on the deal, we can get the deed, then we can flip that property however you want to do it. There's a few different exit strategies. A lot of times with flipping real estate, investors are naturally thinking, I'm going to flip it to another investor, take a little spread, be done with that. Certainly that's one way to be able to do it. Another way would be if you've got a good enough deal so that you know that you're going to be making money on this deal and you've got the wherewithal and the money to be able to hold on to that property for a while so that you can find a retail buyer who can then go out and get traditional financing, which is going to take a while. That's where you're holding costs come in and you need to be able to make sure that the numbers make sense for that kind of deal. And then sell it to a retail buyer at a higher price than you would a wholesale buyer. And then of course, another exit strategy is keep that property. Now that isn't flipping real estate, but sometimes your marketing is going to be uncovering deals that are so good. You may want to just keep them for your own rental house portfolio. So over the years, I uncovered 85 ways to be able to find bargain houses. And then from there, you can decide what you want to do with those properties. I'll leave a link in the description to my bargain house dominator so you can find 85 ways to be able to uncover bargain houses as well. The important takeaway though is flipping houses is one of those buzz phrases, but it's important nowadays that you understand the rules are changing. So if you're getting old information and you're thinking, I just need to get a contract on this, an option on this, I'm going to shop this contract around. You're not the owner of the property. That is really problematic. Now you could get yourself into trouble. You've got to do things the right way. And one way is get the deed to the property. When you've got the deed, you become the owner. And then of course, you can do what you want with the property as the owner. And that is what it's all about doing things properly so that you are having the homeowner's best interest in mind as you are doing good in your business. Now, if you are interested in learning more ways than just this, 
to generate income with real estate, I highly recommend that you get my real estate income stacking handbook. And when you do, you're going to have 21 unique ways to generate income with real estate. You're also going to get my real estate income stacking blueprint. This is a free bonus. I've laminated mine because it's just that important to me. I can look at a glance where different types of income sources naturally can be grouped together within real estate. So you can be doing a number of things similarly and generate more than one income source as you're going about it. Now on the back, I've got some instructions on how to set it up. So it's very simple. Definitely take advantage of that if that sounds good to you. Again, I will put a link in the description. You can also find it over at realestateincomestacking.com. Now these are some of the ways that helped me fire my day job forever back in 2004. It is now my mission to be able to share some of these strategies with you and with those people that are hoping and praying for a good financial scenario in their life. So if that sounds good to you, take advantage of it. Either way, if house flipping is something that you are gravitating towards, definitely check out my next video that's going to help you along the ways of what is important to know as you're flipping houses in today's new real estate market. So you're following the right regulations, you're doing things properly, and you can feel good about the service that you are offering. I'm Mark Walters. I thank you for watching, and I will share more with you in the next video.